All right, Matt the Mortgage Guy here. Record a quick video just to explain in simple terms what do they mean when they talk about lack of inventory? What do they mean when they say we've got you know inventory in short supply? There's more uh, demand than there is supply. In this video, I'm going to dig in and make it as simple as possible to understand what does it mean to have low inventory. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. If you haven't subscribed yet, 96% of you that are watching this are not subscribed. I don't know why. Great real estate and mortgage info broken down in simple terms. If you like more of that, you want more of that, take the time right now to subscribe. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people get the simple explanations that they can understand. So without further ado, everybody is talking about how we have a lack of real estate inventory. There's just no supply. There's not enough houses. There's too many people that want to buy them. What does that mean? I've created a simple diagram. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm no artist. And, and this is proof right here that I'm not an artist, but I'm trying to draw supply versus demand and explain to you what it means when somebody says there's 0.5 months or one month of inventory. So in my simple analysis, I'll explain to you what it means to have one month of inventory. And we'll take a small neighborhood versus a whole city to make it a super simple concept. Let's say that on average, eight houses in this neighborhood sell per month. If you've got the ones in purple for sale, you've got eight houses for sale. If nothing else came on the market, they would all sell within one month because on average, there's eight houses selling per month in that neighborhood. That's one month of inventory. Now, for context, to have a market that's fairly balanced and one that, you know, the buyers don't have a ton of leverage, the sellers don't have a ton of leverage like they do now where they can, you know, list a house and have 15 offers on it, that market's gonna have six to nine months of inventory. So in a neighborhood where eight houses sell per month, there might be six times that. There might be 48 houses for sale. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you with this graphic what's happening right now in many markets across the US. There is tons of buyers, and really all these buyers are talking to their friends. I got a 2.625, I got a 2.75, I got a 15 year fixed at 2.1, I got a 30 year fixed at 2.68 rates are so low. I'm so excited. I want to buy a house. Demand is on fire. The number of homes for sale is historically low, historically low. I'm going to put some graphs in here, um, brought to you by Ryan Lundquist, sacramentoappraisalblog.com. Special shout out to him. The dude does amazing stuff when it comes to stats related to real estate. So thank you, Ryan. You do great work. I appreciate you. I'm going to make sure that, you know, sacramentoappraisalblog.com is on your sheet and use some of your graphs in this to show where our current inventory levels are. And, you know, what's happening is for this neighborhood and, and, and I'll, and I'll use the same example I did before where eight of these houses are going to sell per month. Let's say there's only eight available right now, but you've got 120 buyers that want to buy these eight houses. Well, these go for sale and 55 people walk through this house of these 120 buyers. This house isn't for everybody, but 55 showings. 18 people like it enough to put in an offer. What happens when there's 55 showings and 18 offers? This house that was listed for 425 ends up selling for 470. I mean, it's supply and demand. That's not hard to understand, right? Um, and so this is happening all over the place. This is a simplified version of it. And if you thought that one month's worth of inventory was bad, where an average of eight houses are selling per month and there's only eight on the market, Sac County, this was in December. And I, I believe I got this off of Ryan's website. Sacramento County, the number was 0.4. So this is a neighborhood that 20 houses 
are selling per month and there's only eight for sale. If nothing else comes to market, these eight houses are gonna sell in whatever 0.4 of one month is, 12 days, something like that. That's such historically low inventory. I'll, I'll put this up on the screen so, it, so it, it's, it's easier to read, but literally like historically low inventory has gotten even lower than it was after it was historically low. It's ridiculously low. And these buyers are not slowing down. It seems like just when we think we've hit the, the top of, you know, buyer demand versus inventory problems, more buyer demand comes to the market. Rates continue to stay low. Mortgages are attractive as ever. And so, you know, this house gets 62 showings, 22 offers. It was listed at 419. Someone was able to offer 480, waive the appraisal contingency, waive the loan contingency, or they bought it cash. Sac County, 0.4 months. This is as of December, 2020, which you know, you're not gonna get January stats until mid-February, so it's pretty much the latest stats. Placer County, 0.52, El Dorado County, 0.66, and then Yolo County, Oh my gosh, 0.9. And these are these are SAC and surrounding. These are the counties up here near me in my market. Um, I know that other places around the country have similar issues with short supply. Now, how do we fix this? What can we do to fix this? I'll tell you what can happen and something that would help whether we like it or not. Let's say that rates go up to 3.5%. 3.5% is still an amazing rate. But if rates went up to three and a half percent, maybe 20% of these buyers are like, nah, I'm cool, I'm good. They might not just say, nah, I'm good, but they might not qualify. The payment goes up by 200, 250 bucks because rates have gone up a little bit. They don't qualify for 480 more. And this is something that um, a video I watched recently went into real detail about it. We have plenty on the demand side of ability to buy. And really with what's happening with supply versus demand, we could go up another 10, 15, 20% and still have enough able tos. And one thing that's gonna change and reduce this demand is if the able to buyer starts getting pushed out. If these prices go up 10, 15, 20%, you know, over the period of 12, 18, 24 months, then some of these are no longer going to be able to, right? They're at or near their max purchase price already. And once we start clearing off some of the able tos, maybe rates go up and, and that accelerates that, then we've got less demand. On the supply side, more people need to list their homes, builders need to build more homes, or like some of the YouTube pro prognosticators, there's going to be a big foreclosure rush. I can tell you that I see it as highly unlikely that we have a humongous amount of foreclosure. Sure, there'll be some. And sure, coming out of the pandemic, there's some folks that have been displaced. They lost their jobs or they were reduced to, you know, less hours and they're going to have trouble. Um, but the folks that are in forbearance, vast majority of them, um, are still able to make their mortgage payments. The ones that have come out have, have proven it and have got back on track, made their payments. They've slapped what they owe on the back. Um, a lot of them have refinanced and tied that in and, and kind of fixed their mortgage and move forward with a lower payment. Um, and, and so they're, they're set that way. But we need more inventory. We honestly need less demand. And, and that's the thing that's gonna fix this imbalance because you know going to three months inventory would be a humongous change. It would be more than welcome. I don't think we'll get to six months inventory anytime soon, but these rates, 0 0.4, 0 0.52, 0.66, it's ludicrous. And you see it. If you're a buyer in this market, you're a real estate agent in this market, you're a lender in this market, and you're seeing firsthand what's going on, it's absolutely ludicrous. Um, when somebody gets pre-approved and they start looking around, they start putting offers, they understand why we tell them welcome to the jungle because it is, a, it's, it's crazy out there. So that's just a quick little, um, easy to understand what it means when they talk about low inventory. I don't know what your specific market is, but anything, you know, 
less than two months inventory is going to create a market where sellers have a lot of leverage. And when there's less than two months worth of inventory, there's just a lot more buyers than there are sellers. And so these buyers are competing for the few houses that are on the market. And that makes prices go up. Simple supply and demand. Any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Matt, M-A-T-T -T, at mattthemortgageguy.com. If you're looking to do something in California, I'm happy to help. If you're outside of California, happy to refer you to somebody who will take good care of you. If they don't, I will slap them in the mouth. Thanks for watching.